in this video i teach you the basic of governing of ic engine means why governing is required what's the difference between flywheel and governings and what are the various matters of the governing for a ic engine so first we understand what is the flywheel okay what what is the function of the flywheel so we know that the flywheel is a one mechanical components in which we store the energy or we retrieve the energy whenever we require means during the power stroke flywheel is stored the some energies and it supplied the energy during the suction stroke during the compression stroke and during the exhaust stroke okay so function of flywheel is to limit the cyclic variation of the speed due to fluctuation of energy means main thing of the flywheel is to fluctuation of the energy so it's reduced the fluctuation of the energy because it stored the energy and retrieved the energy however the flywheel is not able to control the change in speed means flywheel is not able to to control the change in the speed means flywheel is not able to control the speed due to the variation of load on the engine okay now what is the variation of the load on the engine what is the meaning of that okay so suppose we are considering the ic engine that is a mobile ic engine means in our bike and in our car what is the load load means load is either increase or load is reduce suppose we take the example of the car in the car four people is going okay and instance of four we are seated the six or eight people that means load on the engine is increase okay because the weight of the person is increase inside the cars the load is explained on a number of way suppose we are going on the hilly area at that time the load on the engine is increased because the car is going opposite to the gravitational force so our engine is required a more power suppose now car car is moving in a slope down area means we are returning from the hill station at that time the we are moving with this gravitational force so we our car is required a lower power because that is a lower is reduced but when we going on hilly area at that time the load on the engine is increase okay so load is explained on number of way if the four people is traveling then load is more if the two people is traveling load is reduced so according to the load the engine speed is reduced or increase okay so this speed variation is not controlled by the flywheel but this speed variation is controlled by using the governing of the engine or by using the governing mechanisms so now we understand the governing and function of the governing now considering the engines running at a certain equilibrium speed at this instance power developed by the engine is equal to the load on the engine and the frictional power means power produced by the engine is equal to summation of the two thing one is the load on the engines and second one is the frictional power therefore the system is under equilibrium now consider the case when the load on the engine increase means how the load on the engine is increase suppose the four people is traveling and the two people are move outside from the car at that time the load on the engine is increase suppose we take the example of the bike the three people is moving on the bike and the one friend is reach at home so they are move from the bike so means load on the engine is increase as a result the speed of the engine will keep on increasing means when the weight from the bike or car is reduced speed of the engine will increase or speed of the bike is increase since the power developed by the engine is still the same because engine are not knowing that the load is reduced okay they are producing the same power but the number of person is reduced at that time we are required the lower power therefore we need to adjust the power developed by the engine okay and corresponding to this new decrease load and to overcome the frictional power it can be achieved either by decreasing the fuel supply or by other means okay so we need to reduce the what amount of the fuel is supplied or by other mechanism that is known as the throttling okay so for a petrol engine and for a diesel engine that is a different governing is that and this is achieved by the device is called as the governor so in short to with respect to the change on the load speed is increase or decrease 
load is increased then the speed is decreased load is increased then speed is decreased and the load decreased and the speed is increased but we need to maintain this constant speed for that reasons we are required a governing therefore the function of governor is to control the fluctuation of speed of the engine within the prescribed limits with variation of load from no load to maximum load on the engine over a period of time before moving ahead i request to like the video subscribe the channels and visit the playlist for watching the more video related to the mechanical engineering governing in ci and si engine in a case of variable speed load ci engine requirement of control of fuels are more demanding since the engine is required to adjust the fuel not only meet the requirement of load in addition it needs to meet the power requirement of variable frictional load with the speed means in ci engines we need to control the amount of the diesel spray inside the cylinders okay so either we need to spray more diesel or either we reduce the quantity of the sp spraying the diesels inside the cylinders depending on the load variation therefore with variation in the speed fuel requirement are not linear it is it is invariant proportion to meet the requirement of both the load and friction power as in case of engine driving in marine as well as in aero air propellers boats and centrifugal pump so it is not linearly proportional it have the some equations for maintaining these things now in case of gas or petrol engine the method of governing is rather simple compared to the diesel engine in most of the petrol engine the governing is usually by throttle governor and the throttle governor is connected with our accelerator okay so in our bike that is a petrol engine so we just reduce the accelerator or increase the accelerator our bike speed is increased that is known as the throttle governing okay and next we study the method of governing first method it is heat and mist governing in this method the fuel supply is completely cut off in a one or more number of cycles producing the idle cycle so from this name we understand that heat means sometime the fuel is supplied mist means sometime the fuel is not supplied and if you want to study this system in details then go to the playlist the playlist is available from the i symbols and the link is also provided on this description next is the quality governing quality means mixing ratio is changed that is air plus fuel it is changed in this matter of governing air fuel ratio is varied by varying the quantity of fuel to be supplied per cycle in case of ci engine means in a case of diesel engine in a case of compression ignition engine next one is quantity governing in this matter air fuel ratio is keep constant so that quantity of mixer remains approximate constant but quantity of mixer per cycle is varied suppose at the certain speed we are supplying the 0.5 meter cube of meter cube per minute of mixture that is air fuel mixtures and speed is decreases then we supply the 0.2 meter cube per minute quantity of the mixture okay means proportion of the air and fuel is same but we just change the quantity of this mixture it is known as the quantity governing means quality is same just quantity is changing means its mass is changing whatever the thing is remain same this is achieved by varying the quantity of both the air and fuel supplied to the engine as in case of the si engine means in the case of the petrol engine or a spark ignition engine so thank you for watching this video if you learned and like the video subscribe the channels and share with your friends